All right, you are still watching Way's World Hepatitis Day. That's WHD takes place every year on 28th of July, bringing the world together under a single theme to raise awareness of the global burden of viral hepatitis and um, to influence real change. Now, WHD is a day for the world's hepatitis community to unite and make um, our voices heard. So it's a day to celebrate the progress we've made and to meet the current challenges is also an opportunity for us to increase awareness and encourage a real political change to jointly facilitate prevention, diagnosis, and treatment. So today is that day to recognize the fact that people actually have hepatitis and they're living with it. Uh, many years ago, I had a very, very horrible scare when my kids were still young, very young. Um, we had a nanny then, and I don't... I, <laughs> For some strange reason, I did not do a test before bringing her in to my home. But when I found that, thankfully, the hepatitis, she actually even worked for me afterwards, even after finding out, but it was a dormant one. But I think they, they just said, you know, they needed to take some, um, what's it called, um, vaccines and all of that. And so we were good. But hey, people actually do live with hepatitis and, you know, let's not uh, take it for granted hugging people, you know, you know, especially because of fluid exchange. So sweat, saliva, all of those things are quick ways. Ha, ah, Jesus save us. I know what <laughs> I know. I'm just gonna as, say. as you as you keep saying <laughs> as you keep as saying, I'm saying it even I I know. Um, it's going on in my head. Yeah. I'm like oh okay. Mm. It's like, kissing parts because I don't think anybody does test before. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, mean, I, I don't know. If you do test. I don't think anybody does yeah, test so before it's they just, do. Yeah, so it's scary. Ha. God save us. Be careful who thou kiss and exchange some, what is it called? Bodily fluid. Bodily fluid. <laughs> All right, so quickly, what did we find in the news? Um, let me come to NJ first. Um, so, my story. So the federal government approves 25,000 naira as allowances for doctors as part of the measures to resolve the ongoing strike by members of the National As uh, Association of Resident Doctors. Uh, the federal government has approved the payment of 25,000 peculiar allowance for medical and dental doctors in hospitals, medical centers, and clinics in the federal public service. Mm. And, and this was disclosed by the chairman and chief executive officer of the National Salary and Wages Commission, Ebo Unta. So um, it's it's just one of those stories that you hear and you're wondering, okay, how much is for right I now? Did, I promised myself I was going to be happy Aww. today. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm, I'm so sorry. Aww. I promised myself I was going to be happy today. And, um, and I will not get upset with this federal government. I'm sorry. What is 25,000 naira? I'm asking, how much is 25,000 naira in dollars? That's about... It's less than $30. Less than 30, about 29 point something. Going with today's rates. So... And you're wondering why they're leaving the country? <laughs> 25,000 naira. We're not coming to... Just yesterday, we were talking about the ministerial list. And you can only imagine... I'm not sure of the exact figure, and I don't want to um, you know, say anything wrong, but the salary or the allowance given to the ministers or that they get... Just say the, the entire office. government, because it's not even just restricted to the ministers Let's, alone. Let's, Your let's, household the entire rent. federal government. Yeah, right? the entire government, so both state and federal. The, the salaries that they get runs in millions, billions in order to pay their salaries. And doctors who are in the for, front line of saving lives, and trust me, a lot of things are going on in Nigeria. We just don't know. Even down to malaria and everything, the slightest, you know, thing mm -hmm. is almost a death sentence in Nigeria because the you know the standard of living is low as it is. Mm. I was having a conversation yesterday and we we're talking about how eight thousand naira allowance is going to make any difference in anybody's life. And I was saying how much is it, it can't even buy you ten liters in your car. That's for those who have cars. So you don't have and someone was actually proving to me that some people leave eight on that eight thousand naira for a week. It, it just 
doesn't I don't I I'm not sure how to react to it. I'm like you said, we no, no, are deciding today, today, to today be I'm calm. going to be I'm going to be calm. Let me but take my story quickly, Mary, before you take your own. Mine is Wait now, it's your own I'm coming for. Wait. <laughs> so I just want to quickly mention because even I, I have to go and check. Um they say CAC to delist the hundred thousand companies from the database. And um this um this they say that they want to do as a result of lack of filing of your tax return. So it says um, the Corporate Affairs, uh, Affairs Commission has said that it will remove 100,000 registered companies from its database very soon um, during a training on the use of um, the beneficial ownership register in Lagos. And the Registrar General and the Chief Executive Officer, al Haji Garbar Abubakar, disclosed that the Commission's intention to delete these 100,000 registered companies from its database is steps towards enforcement of the 100,000 companies to go um, to go to go off its register for failure to file annual return. So this is actually a fantastic way to trap um, um, taxes. We've always said it that you know there are very very creative ways that the government can you know um, solve some of these problems that we face. You know especially when it comes to taxation. We we are one of the countries that we we I don't even think we really pay taxes in this country and. Um, for us to compare the standard of living and the things that people get for free in other countries, right? Those countries are heavily taxed. The incomes are heavily taxed. So if we start to um, we start to deliberately, you know, get these taxes from people, definitely it's going to change. And it's not just only getting it that you actually put it to good use because that's the that's problem. A lot of people say that I am my own government, so I pay my own um, power. Like I, 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 I provide water for myself, I provide power for myself, I provide roads for myself. So that is the justification why a lot of people do not feel the need that they have to do some of these things, especially when it comes to taxation. But I mean, if we're able to do this, hopefully we'll be able to find, you know, um, income to then now plow back into the healthcare sector, the educational sector, and some of these sectors that are really struggling. So, I mean, it's a good move. So, hopefully, I, I will also go and check because there are some companies that are registered. I never did anything with them. I'll go and see if it's something I still want to use in the future. And whatever, I, for, for what is worth, quickly do all the taxes before or filing and whatever before um, these um, names are deleted. So, mm -hmm. Mary. On a lighter note. It's not light, though. It is a lighter note. <laughs> of course. The federal government of Nigeria urges Nigerians to consider bicycles for transportation. Vanga reports that the Director of Road Transport and Mass Transit I don't know why you call that thing. Vanga reports that the Director of Road Transport and Mass Transit Transit Administration, Musa Ibrahim, stated at a one-day stakeholder sensitization meeting held in Abuja. According to the report, Ibrahim said the idea to enhance and heighten the importance of cycling in Nigeria, as it will obviously lead to a drop in road crash incidences. Ibrahim noted that the stakeholder sensitization meeting is in consonance with the World Bicycle Day that is marked annually on June 3rd through a United Nations General Assembly resolution. Um, I know that this sounds absolutely ridiculous, but guys, think about it. On the um, fitness side of things, we would be healthier and we won't have to think about the cost of um, petrol okay <clears throat> let me so, answer you yeah the if you go to amsterdam mm -hmm. it's one of the countries that you know they are very heavy on bicycles right you mm -hmm. see um that uh, everywhere you go i mean when i went to amsterdam for the first time i was just in bicycles everywhere i wish probably i'd done a bit of research i would have probably um found a way to be able to rent some of those things and just use them instead of the long walks that i had to to do from my hotel to the venue where we had the conference right so if you go to those places and you're talking bicycles you will know that the government is thinking it's not me that trailer will crush up the road because I want to ride a bicycle. But we're, we're Wait, let me answer you. I told you, I said I kept your story for the last. Yeah, it's, it's, it's that from the initiative. And then ha, we no, have no, 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 no. You get the bicycles on the no. road that you don't have availability Auntie, for the bicycle. No, it's not about. He's, he's saying no. the government saying this now means there's going to be a next no, step. So no, we're, we're no, going to no, say, oh, no. okay, you want us to ride bicycles? Can we make a separate lane? for um, cycling. I mean... I know you came prepared to defend them, but you see, this is putting the, um, the cart before
before the horse, right? Mm. Any government that is serious about uh, what's it called real changes, especially when it comes to our transportation system in this country, you see better walk walkways. I mean, they've been constructing roads, right? It's not like it's not like they've stopped constructing roads for for, for the longest. There are road constructions currently happening. Have you seen the structure of those roads? Are there pathways for pedestrians? Are there pathways? Let me make I finish. Are there pathways for um, bicycles or, or or what's it called or, or bikes? There are no pathways. But you so you can't, you can't wake up and just say that you want to have bicycles. When I was a lot younger, I, I, I was born and bred in Katuna. I used to ride bicycles on the highway. Now the thought of it it gives me palpitations. Do you understand? I can never try it. I love to ride bicycles, but I have not ridden bicycles. I don't know for God knows. Maybe up over 20 years now, I've not ridden a bicycle. Just because there are no safe paths for bicycle riders. So it's not enough for you to say because you're celebrating World Bicycle Day and you want to encourage fitness. Yeah. If you are serious about bicycle transportation, which is fantastic, mm -hmm. because it actually helps with our fitness and our whatever, provide, let us start to see deliberate tracks to say these are strictly bicycle lanes, then I'll know that, yes, you're ready as a government. I'm sure they're going to start. Okay. Yes. So we'll definitely see some changes. I, I, um, I like, I like your optimism. I'm pro, pro cycling. So No, but see, I'm not against <laughs> it. Yes. I'm really not against it, but it's just, just like Uwa said, it's putting the card before that. Like it's, it's a, I understand that they're trying to make use of the, you know, recognize the day and make use of that. But these are the things that also make us look, I don't want to use, you know, these are the things that make us Can look I on the word? <laughs> I may not use the word, but it's in, in these are the, No, these are the things that make us look unserious. Let me use that. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Unserious is putting like it lightly. Mm, and look like a joke. Mm. You see, when the federal government comes out to say something like this, in that statement, you didn't state, okay, these are plans. plans. These are some of yes, the plans no. that we have in order to push this. This narrative. is a prototype road that we have built. This is something that we are doing. We're currently building this road. And on that road, we are going to launch, we're going to start by launching a bicycle lane or a cycling lane so that it, how then is this, the, how can you come out and tell me that the accident rate will go down? if you don't even have pathways for bicycles. So mm -hmm. I'm going to be, it's bad enough that when you're driving a car, you're struggling with keke, you're struggling with um, motorcycles. Then you now add bicycle that wobbles. <laughs> we will be fine. And I'm we'll sure that going to do something about it. Uh, maybe. Because I strongly believe that this is a very good initiative. I don't, I don't know have any Bicycles in Nigeria at the moment is for estates, mm. please. No. In my opinion. It's only in an estate that you would encourage having more bicycles. You can't encourage that on the highway. Never. On How do you encourage means. that well, for because transportation? Before People before are coming before from the we mainland. Get to the highway, before we get to the Mary, highway. I will give you a bike and I will make sure that you ride on I'm Todd Milan Bridge. Wait, I said I was going to get one. It's not that. I'm taking you to Todd Milan Bridge. You're going to ride from I island don't have to any the mainland. From Milan, ah, no, you will have business so in Jesus' name. <laughs> I'll drive. You are going to have a meeting. I'm actually going to no. buy a bike. You are going, going no, to you are going to have a meeting. Riding to the office. Wait, Mary. You're going to have a meeting in Keja Jerry. And I'm going to put you on the bike on Todd Milan. Then you ride the bike to Keja Jerry. blow me off now. We'll take a break. Let's bring in our guest with us. <laughs>